Yo guys, what's going on? It's Ryugi here with another killer video and what better way to start back with some killer action than to go back to our roots and play some Legion. Um, so my favorite build has changed over the years and I have found one that honestly is super comfortable. Um, unfortunately, it's at the expense of the survivors, but what's new? Um, I love Aura build Legion on Larry's and I'm going to show you what makes this build so good. And this build has went through a few different renditions. I'll go over that, but let's go ahead and hop into... Um, Perks add-ons and show you what this build can do. So obviously we're going to send them to Larry's. The main staple of this is stylish sunglasses. So what stylish sunglasses does is it shows the aura of survivors who are mending within a 24 meter tear radius. So it's basically nurses calling or deep wound mending. And then we use etch ruler. Survivors that are hit by feral frenzy are inflicted with obliviousness for 60 seconds. So basically the goal of this is to frenzy people leave them quote unquote and then go back to them because you'll see them mending through the wall and they'll have no teradius and you scare the poop out of them and down them uh we go with a bunch of perks to get rid of our terror radius um so i use unforeseen whenever you kick a gen for the next 30 seconds it has a terror radius of 32 meters and then you're undetectable then it goes on cooldown you can interchange this for trail of torment which is what i was using but i'm going to try out some unforeseen i'm using furtive chase every time we hook the obsession we get a 5% haste, we become undetectable for 18 seconds, and then whoever unhooks the obsession becomes the obsession. Um, I used to use Floods of Rage, but I'm going to try out Furt of Chase. Floods of Rage, if you want some more aura reading, you might as well just go for it, right? Uh, Dark Devotion, whenever the obsession loses a health state, they get your terror radius for 30 seconds and you become undetectable. And then Hysteria, whenever anybody healthy becomes injured, any survivor that is injured becomes oblivious. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it and let's scare some survivors and show you why this is one of my favorite builds and why it's so fun. All right, guys. So it turns out I'm a filthy liar and I took off Furtive Chase for Floods of Rage again. Uh, I played a few games and I realized that Furtive Chase doesn't stack well with Dark Devotion because usually when I down the Obsession, Dark Devotion activates and it complete, completely gets rid of the value of uh, Furtive Chase, basically. Um, so, yeah, we took that off. A lot of sprint burst gamers. Got people behind me, I can hear it in the Terradius or the Killer Instinct. I don't think I catch this actually. You're going to Africa. I'm not really interested in following you all the way over there. This guy has no Terradius. We might be able to catch him off. He just mended. He's over there. We're gonna go frenzy these guys now. This girl should lose her Terradius, and she's running right into me. That was the plan the whole time. But we might run into a, a god window or pallet right... Wow, that's crazy. Damn. If I can see you mending over here, maybe. Hello. Gotcha. Got Floods of Rage right here. Didn't have a Terradius, so she had no idea that we were coming. Let's go ahead and kick this. Get our little Oteridius going. And then we're going to walk up to this gen that just exploded. Fucking Swim is crazy. Alright, we know one gen is probably getting done on the side of the map, so we're going to lose the gen here very, very soon. We're going to chase you for a second. Might commit, we'll see. Just gonna vault. Slow vault. I think we catch you. Oh, I almost got grab cucked there. We'll let them get the unhook. We'll grab you for now. I think the healthy person is over there. Bloods of Rage will tell me they're healing on the hook. Let's hook you right here. Go for the frenzy on the hook. They shouldn't be able to finish this. Okay, that's a will make it. That was fast as fuck. Or they use the medkit. Or it's all three of them, actually. I lied. I see them. Okay, let's get the sprint burster first, and then we'll spread frenzy accordingly. Oh. Gay chicken. You almost beat me in it. Yeah. I wanted to get a little closer. Last guy is over here. They're healing under the hook, which is... Crazy, man. 
I want to injure you and then get Dark Devotion, I guess. Or Hysteria, or both. Nice. We can see them healing right here. Um, I think I can break through right here. Finish healing. Let's go ahead and Frenzy her if we can. Now that we have Frenzy, we're going to try to chain this back to some other people. I don't know where they are, though. I'm going to guess over here. Or in this room. Hysteria is still active for about 30 seconds. I mean 15, sorry. Hey. Uh, let's just get this god pile out of the way. Or you can just not throw it. We see you on the end of the hallway. Bye, friend. We should get out of here. So far, getting some great value out of this Notarius. Keep sneaking up on him. They're making a lot of attempts to heal, which is fine, I guess. This guy shouldn't be going for the pickup because, okay, they do get it. That's crazy. I would like to hit them with some frenzies for some aura reading. I would like to kick this and go across the map because I feel like somebody ran away to go do gens. That guy killed himself immediately. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I figured. They're going to be healing, I'm pretty sure. Up. They had no idea I was coming. You gotta love it, baby. Let's put you on a Floods of Rage hook. Are you giving up too? I think everybody's done. They don't like uh, having no Teridius. Teridius is coming back. Now we are fully able to be heard. But we can frenzy them if we want. That'll give them no Teridius. That should tell us last person has a distortion, I guess, huh? Yep. You filthy distortion user. Come here. Oh, this hook is gone. This is so sad. They're healing, so I have no need to kick a gen to get rid of my terror radius because that's just not going to work with what we're doing. And we will go back to the hook-ish area, and we should be able to find somebody. We have no Terridius for the next 10 seconds, so they might run face first into us. I'm sure they're gonna be on this side if I had to guess. Running. I think I was kind of correct. Yeah, there you are. He's running. I'm gonna just swing through this pallet. I'm going to leave her now, and I'm going to try to find the guy that's mending. If he's even mending, he might have just gone to the hook, I think. I'm pretty sure he's just beelining to the hook. Yep. He still has no Teridius. So he's probably going to run when the other guy... Uh... What's up? Come here, buddy. Let's go. We need to find the other guy who is hiding. Oh, hello. We're going to do the same thing to you. I'm going to let you run for a bit. We're going to try to stay semi-close. Hopefully hide where we are so she doesn't see us. Standing up here is probably best. She don't hear or see us. She's mending over there. We've got floods of rage to tell us exactly where she went. going to be the easiest way to hide is to come from this direction. And this pallet's already thrown because she hit us in the face with it. So we gotta break it. Oh well, that would have been good if the pallet wasn't already thrown, I think. Oh, uh, keep running from here. She can't hear our Teridius, so she actually doesn't know where I am. But I think she's just holding W, I'm pretty sure. Which directions again, I think. Just keep cutting her off. She still has no Teridius. Nice dead hard. 
Dead hard against the Legion. Worked just because she just finished amending. Very nice. Um, I honestly kind of just want to leave her because this is coming a little much. Are you just going to camp us? Probably, right? Oh, no, she's not. I'm just going to leave. It's not worth it anymore. They're probably stacked up on this gen trying to crank one out before they die. Yeah. Let's go ahead and let's frenzy you. Hey, you should leave. Take this. We heard a fell frenzy blip over here, so we're gonna assume that's where they are. And this guy is. We got scrimpers. We have you. You're still mending. She might see us. Nah. We'll pick her up. Good shit. Good shit. Um. Hello. She was waiting for us. She wanted to say hi. Let's go this way. Yeah, I'm sure you're here. You went to the God Palette? No, you didn't. I don't know if the God Palette's even still up or if it spawned over there. You just die at this pallet twice. You gotta make a decision here, pal. You silly goose. Some frenzies would be nice here. That way I can get people oblivious again and I can wall hack them. guys over here. What frenzy to you? Honestly. I just can't bang the god. That would be so funny. He ran away too. That's crazy. And said, yeah, let me run around. Run away from this god pallet. You silly goose also. Oh, I can't kick it from that side. Okay, let's kick this. Bloods of Rage will tell us where everybody is. He has no clue where we are. He's gonna run right into us. Nah, she's trying to play it safe. Doesn't really get her anywhere though. Crazy that this pallet spawned so close to that god pallet. I'm not giving her the vault though. Just kept going. Very well played. She'll probably camp this one. She's holding W. Gotta get rid of it. These guys are finding the pallets, which is, I suppose, important. There's another god pallet over here, I think. I'm having the time of my life. Alright, I think she has maybe windows of opportunity because this is getting a little ridiculous. Let's go. We could also just know where all the pallets are, which is totally feasible on this map. Not a lot of variety, but you want to hook gamer. They took the time to heal, which means there's basically no progress made on any generators. Because they took like 30 something seconds to heal, so this girl basically bought zero time. They were able to heal and that's it. <laughs> I heard a bro. I'm pretty sure that was me though. We got a lot of gen progress on different gens, which is good for them. Hello? Ah, oh, she killed that. Okay. GG. Womp! She says she don't want the smoke no more. We're gonna have no idea where this guy is, though. Gonna try to find the hatch. Might as well kick this gen. Get rid of our Teridius here. See if we can find the hatch here. Yeah, 
faint scratches this way. Okay. Got scared of the terrorists on the gen. Oh. Right, she ran straight through that. She said, Hatch is in this room, and there's nothing you can do to stop me to get it. From getting it. English is hard. GG gamers. For the fact that somebody died early on, that game was long as hell. They really uh, drew out the last, you know, last bit of it. I think if the other guy didn't die on hook, I think, what were they on? Second hook? I think they would have had a very good chance. But there you have it. That's the aura reading no terror radius build. I think it's very fun, in my opinion. One of my more enjoyable Legion builds. I'm not going to add a second game because that one was pretty lengthy. I think you guys get the picture. Uh, feel free to go try it out for yourselves. I think you'll find a lot of enjoyment in this match or in these, uh, you know, perks in this build. However... Like I said, it's at the expense of the survivors. So, with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day, night, evening, morning, whatever time it is whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.